be at his essay. This is High Priestess Yashodara Singh. Welcome viewers. Welcome to the prediction videos for the month of June 2024. This is the first of four videos. We'll be covering all the four weeks of this month of June. But first, let me quickly tell you the messages that you need to pay attention to for this month. You need to realign to the life that you want. You need to realign and refocus. So that means at some point in the past few months or maybe even, the, even in the past month, you may have shifted your focus in another direction and now you may be realizing that other things also require your attention. Which brings me to point number two. You need to set your boundaries and you need to also set your priorities, which means earlier you had a priority list. If you didn't, please make one now. It's very important to get certain jobs in your life to be done on time. Otherwise, it might come back in a bigger and a badder way and you don't want that. Uh, please protect yourselves against procrastination. There will be pockets in the month of June when you may feel lethargic, you may feel too tired to do anything, you may not even be interested to check back in your list as to what has been done, what, what is left in your list and that's going to be a problem. Like I said earlier, it is going to come back to you in a way that you may not like. So focus on what has to be done, look at the time, stamp along with the item and go ahead and achieve that goal then move to the next one. There may be times, there may be occasions in the month of June where you might have to do two or maybe even three things at one time. But don't give up before even starting. Give yourself that much of confidence to do so. You have the full moon or the strawberry moon as we are going to call it in the month of June on June the 21st and on 6th of June which is the first week itself you have the, the new moon. This video is going to cover June 1st to June 8th. So let's begin with the central theme. Remember after that we're going to do general health, wealth and relationships. So let's do the central theme. You've pulled out the card of service, the card of emergence and the beautiful card of the temple of the sun. So let's take it one by one. The card of service as it shows in the picture itself, this card is going to take you to a point where you will find that you have to take care of someone who is elder to you. Could be a relative, could be a friend's uh, relative, um, or it could be someone elderly from say an old age home or someone senior. But you will find that doing this for that person is going to, of course, karmically, it's a beautiful thing to do. It's good karma. But when you take care of those who need your caring, your nurturing, hold their hand, read a book, give them their medicine on time, take that responsibility. It'll make you feel good, right? And that is what the opportunity may be uh, in the month of June for you. If this comes up, don't say, no, no, I don't have time. This is too much for me. I have too many things to do. Take out the time and I promise you, you will not regret it. It's good karma, if nothing else. Emergence, this card speaks about how certain things in your surroundings, maybe even the collective consciousness is going to take place in such a way. It could be where you live, it could be the society that you are in, or maybe the country you are in in general. But in June, you will see you know, you'll have to up your game because everything in terms of standard, in terms of expectation is going to come up. And therefore, you are going to be expected to match up to that. Now, when I say this, my first, uh, my first advice to you, if you'd like, would be remind yourself that you are in this position because of all the choices that you have made in the past, correct? Now be aware that the choices you take in the present will affect your future. So please plan accordingly. So that's the card of emergence. Emerge into a better version of yourself. The third card that you've pulled out is a central theme for the first week of June 2024. Viewer is the temple of the sun. 
this card says that the basic outlook for the entire month or at least the vibes that the universe is sending you is generally going to be positive bright and purely in terms of outcome it's going to be supportive unless there has been a situation where you haven't done anything at all and you expect results you are sure to get some return if not the amount that you expected please keep your faith in yourself please keep your confidence in yourself in your decisions in your actions please do not make any decisions especially if you have people around you who brainwash you into believing that you must do what is expected out of you and never ever walk a path that is not um worthy of the effort that you put in so ensure that when you're putting in effort it is something that doesn't make you regret that decision later right now since we all have unique life paths this card plays a lot of relevance because it really comes in a reading as you all know and when it does it's here to send you a very very strong message you cannot go wrong if you keep your vibes high that's the bottom line right all right let's move on to the first week of uh, i'm sorry the first set of cards you have the general section so here we have four cards that will tell you what's the general overview for the first week of june 2024 you've pulled out the king of swords twice the five of cups and the ace of coins let's take the double card first right so the king of swords here we are talking about don't go by the gender you could be a female also the king of swords tells me that uh, you could be a gemini or dealing with one this card also means that in general um you will want to be stern you will want to be left alone to get certain jobs done you will uh, you will be responsible for any uh, goals to be achieved any targets to be met and you'll be quite stern with the people who will be expected to um do the jobs that you have you have given them right having said that don't worry about uh going overboard of course don't go overboard but don't worry about going overboard because this is something that is very very important for you in terms of achievement as i'm sure that the people who uh, are helping you in the process are already aware of and if not make them aware so there's definitely something you'll be working towards ensure that that is something that is not uh, something that you're defined by but get the job done right uh this card is also for uh, those of you who are widowers or those of you who are divorced and uh, this card also means that despite being uh, single minded and despite wanting to work alone please try and keep your uh, ego in check all right let's move on to the next card for the general reading you've pulled out the 5 of cups a card that says that you need to change your you need to change your perspective you need to change how you are seeing things you're looking at all the things that you don't have you're looking at everything that you don't have instead of that if you look at what you have and turn around you will be able to express gratitude for what you have which will automatically increase your vibes and pull towards you better and brighter and bigger prospects for a happier tomorrow so please watch your perspective please look at how you're seeing things check yourself before you check someone else maybe the reason why you're unhappy is because you are looking at things the wrong way instead of why did this happen to me why don't you say now that this has happened to me i'm going to take the lesson that i'm supposed to take from this and then move forward you save on time and energy you learn your lesson and you are smart enough not to make that mistake in future it's a win win situation right it all boils down to how you see things how you interpret things in your life and the last card for the general theme you've pulled out the ace of coins or the ace of pentacles this card says that whether you are in business buying selling in a in a job profession 
there are going to be offers made to you and one particular offer is going to be something that's going to be beyond your expectations um, you should be taking that don't wait for it to get better because this is as good as it gets of course it's going to be more than what you expected express gratitude be happy and go ahead and take it like i said this is covering the financial aspect of your life all right let's move on to the next set the next set is the health set the health set of four cards for the first week of june from first to eighth you've pulled out the four of cups the five of cups look at the progression the lovers card and the ten of coins or the ten of pentacles let's take the progression card so four of cups says that you are you've been given something and you're not very happy with what you've been given and you literally feel that you know i could have done better and because of that i'm uh, your vibes are really low the disappointment in self disappointment in perhaps the person who's giving you th this particular thing uh, this offer this offering uh, has caused a really low vibe a low vibration frequency a low energy around you and that's made you uh, feel well besides feeling low you are also attracting more reasons to feel low that's how the universe works you already know the law of attraction by now right now this is what worries me because five of cups has come directly after four of cups so if you really look at the cards carefully you'll realize one this is what's happening to you and this is telling you where the mistake lies so learn your lesson viewer and move on you are going to stop looking at what you don't have as compared to what you expected and express gratitude that at least you have something in your hand instead of uh, ending up with your palms empty now there are many times in life when you when you feel that you know it's easier said than done i'm in the situation you're not wearing my shoes well at the end of the day you have to see what works for you remember life is all about and 24/7 you need to remind yourself of this vibrational frequency and balance is what it will always boil down to the moment you are having negative thoughts do whatever it takes to ensure that those negative thoughts don't come into your mind because how you think how you feel is what you will attract in the future for yourself so if you don't want to get stuck uh with a in a situation that makes you feel that you're falling deeper and deeper into a bottomless pit then please get out of this by following this advice change your perspective and you will get out of this low vibe all right the lovers card tells me that you could be a gemini or dealing with one this card also means that you lack at this point confidence in yourself you are not loving yourself as much as you should now uh, that doesn't just mean that self care is being neglected it also means other things um are you taking care of the needs of your mind and spirit not just your body are you meditating are you balancing your work and your rest um are you working out but at the same time hydrating yourself it could mean anything okay are you confident in taking decisions do you have to double check your decisions um are you unsure about how you are and who you are so all these it's a it's a card that means a whole lot of stuff bottom line being you need to to focus more on yourself do not disconnect from yourself because when you do that you will have suddenly you'll wake up one day and think that oh my god nobody loves me that's because you don't love yourself or oh my god why is everything so artificial that's because you yourself have become one remember the whole world the whole world will always reflect who you truly see yourself as so if you consider yourself to be beautiful confident and successful that's exactly what the whole world will see you as right so start with yourself is what i'm saying the 10 of coins the 10 of pentacles this card tells me that um you seem to be doing pretty well financially uh at least you being able to provide for your family um you have enough saved as well you're even maybe planning for the future maybe expanding your family which is great this is a very good vibe in terms of a financial vibe in terms of uh, the tarot and this is what the universe is presenting to you if you don't feel like this you need to get in touch uh with us because we will have to do a dragon spell to do your vibe switch because 
if this is what the universe is presenting to you then this is exactly how you should be feeling now remember all uh, all these cards were in terms of your health right worry insecurity fear tension anxiety can give you stress stress can cause uh, an ocean full of illnesses and diseases you don't want that you want to fix it be proactive change your perspective uh, uh, your perspective and you'll be absolutely fine this is health if you don't give yourself time meditate do some breathing uh, abdominal breathing diaphragmatic breathing spend some time in nature take out some time don't keep running from one end to the other slow down a little uh, again this is health related so looking after yourself health related and if you feel that you don't have enough and yet the universe is presenting you opportunities that you can't take probably because you don't feel confident enough to uh, take the risk or you feel like no 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 i'm i don't have enough money then again this is health related like if you say yes the card has come but i don't have enough money to be happy in my home figure out why what is it is it something is it a vacation that you were you wanted to take but it was too expensive uh, is it um, well uh, a need a requirement that a family member wanted that you couldn't complete because you felt you had insufficient funds address these issues because the, all these could be the reason why your health could be affected in the first week of june 2024 right first to eighth all right let's do the wealth aspect the four cards of wealth for uh, the first week of june you've pulled out the 10 of coins again my goodness the four of swords the two of coins and the king of coins all right um interestingly this card had also come out if you remember in the health section so this has come in the wealth so very obviously you are you are emotional about your money you are emotional about not being able to meet the needs um of your family members say for example your children want a pet but you feel like it's too expensive and uh, it might drain you of your funds you might want a vacation visiting an elder paying for the treatment of an elder um uh, doing up your place uh, whatever it is it definitely has to do with money and family and this seems to be affecting your uh, your health please stop stressing about it it's not going to get you anywhere but make you feel worse you need to be proactive and find a solution to it this is the vibe the universe is sending you that means you have the capacity so have a vibe switch done or figure out a way to increase your frequency and there are many many ways to do that and once your your vibes are high you will have that much more confidence to match up to what the universe is literally gifting you this is a beautiful card we use a lot in spell casting all right the four of swords is here to say that uh, despite having to be proactive at this point of time and that you need to be um, you need to be you need to keep your hands on the wheel so to speak you need to be more aware of this point being action oriented more than uh, passive being passive you're still contemplating and thinking about what to do next it seems time is of the essence here it's all right to think but don't think to a point where you contradict yourself also remember uh, procrastinating and delaying things can also mean that the universe will take a decision for you and you may not like that so remind yourself the time is of the essence like for example when you're we are sleeping in the afternoon we always put an alarm so we don't oversleep even in the mornings right do the same thing give yourself a time um, after which you're like you know what i'm going to take a decision right now today evening tomorrow morning whatever it is whatever it takes get the job done like i say the next card you pulled out two of coins a great card which means you will be able to profit from several multiple at least two or more multiple uh, financial ventures you could be a, a professional in the share market and you'll probably make money in both this, uh, the fields you could be a business person investing in somebody else's business and you'll profit in both ways so there are multiple places that you'll be able to make money in the month of june so go ahead and enjoy yourself but at the same time have confidence in yourself do your homework get your read and gain knowledge in all these aspects don't just jump off or jump into rather uh, things that you don't understand and also remind yourself that this path that you have chosen to make money quickly 
also requires you to rest and recover and to divide the energy accordingly. It will always be about your energy. How much do you have? So keep yourself fit, right? While doing so. Otherwise, there could be a chance of a burnout. So good. This is a good card that's come in terms of wealth. So multiple money from multiple avenues is very good. Know when to in, where to invest it. Don't squander and spend it all. Be very careful and judicious about um, just because you have the money, you should not buy something that again, like I say, you might regret later. Save it, save some of it, spend some of it, reinvest some of it. That would be the wise thing as per the rules of blue magic to do. And the king of coins, the king of pentacles, don't go by the gender, you could be a female also. This card says that money-wise, people, people see you as someone who can take care of you and yours. You can meet your... Uh, you can meet your needs in terms of money having said that don't be completely obsessed about I need to make more money I need to make more money a lot of us have this issue but at the end of the day you need to also get some rest you need to also unwind you need to also take care of other aspects of your life that may or may not be related to your monies all right so keep all that in mind balance 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 all right here we go this is done now let's move on to the last section which is the relationship section for the first week of June 2024, viewer, you've pulled out the Hermit card, the High Priestess card, the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Wow. So, well, you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card, the Hermit is what um, also means that you are being asked to self-introspect in your relationships. Are you giving enough time? Are you being fair to certain relationships? Are you taking some relationships for granted? Are certain relationships important for you? These are some very heavy questions that you need to answer. And that's what the Hermit card is here to remind you of. The High Priestess card says that either you are under the protection cloak of a High Priestess or you pissed off one. For your sake, I hope it's the former and not the latter. This card also means that in all your relationships, you need to listen to your gut. Let your sixth sense be the first sense. And when I say relationships, it could mean your personal or your professional life. Any relationship, any contact with a human being um, in your life, okay, in your uh, surroundings. The Eight of Swords. So you are feeling trapped in a situation. Maybe you are uh, in, a, in an unhappy marriage. Uh, maybe you're in an unhappy relationship. Maybe you feel trapped because you really like this uh, person, but um, maybe you don't like some relatives of that person, um, or maybe it's a long distance relationship. And hey, this doesn't just mean the romantic uh, aspect of a relationship of your life. It could also mean, um, say you want to be supportive of your brother or your sister, and uh, try as you might even though you are supportive but you feel trapped because you know the person is walking down uh, you know it's walk he or she is walking down a path that you don't approve of but you feel trapped because you don't have a choice but to be supportive so you never know right because we all have unique lives so um, this card says that in a certain relationship in your life you're feeling trapped it's almost like you're being asked to do something that you don't want to do Remind yourself that uh, it could also be possible that you can talk yourself out of it. Let me explain. If you don't have a choice but to be supportive, okay, let's take the last example I gave you. That means that that person is either completely dependent on you to gain their own self-confidence, which is again good karma, or it could be that you're being you being uh, taught a lesson on how to balance your life and how to learn to say no, how to learn to speak in such a way that your point is heard without offending or hurting someone else. It's possible, right? So use all the challenging situations in your life as learning curves, lessons that you can take forward and use in your life and be wiser with age. Okay. Ace of Swords tells me that in a certain relationship in your life, you need to make the move now before it's too late. This card is here to say that if you want to gain victory in a situation, now is the time to act. Do not wait. Do not procrastinate. Whatever happens if you don't act now. Otherwise, you may not be, uh, you're not 
you may not be happy with the outcome and it may not be in your favor all right uh, viewer thank you so much for watching i will be seeing you in the next couple of videos remember this is the first week of uh, june 2024 we have done, we are done with first to 8th of june i will see you in the next until then love light and knowledge to you all be at his sa and om sarve bhavantu sukhina